Hi friends! Today I'm going to show you my delicious creamy chicken noodle soup recipe. So let's get started. Here are all of my veggies. I used a full squash, a full onion. By the way, pro tip from a self-proclaimed home gourmet amateur chef, uh, use a full onion in everything, like all caps, everything that you cook, I promise. Two full carrots or one huge carrot. These ones were kind of tiny. Um, celery is optional, but I like to add celery to my chicken noodle soup because you would add celery to a chicken salad, so it just makes sense to me, I guess. I only ended up using half of a bell pepper and half of the jalapeno, and that ended up being perfect. And I also used three cloves of garlic, I forgot to say that before. So here are all of my spices. I used Johnny's. If you don't live in the Pacific Northwest, you probably have no idea what I'm talking about. So Johnny's is like Lori's, but way better. Um, I also used some black pepper, some Old Bay, a dash of Tabasco, a sprinkle of tarragon, and about a tablespoon of Italian seasoning, which I buy in bulk. I want to start using mason jars. Ugh, the plastic bags are killing me too. So then you just want to toss everything in there like so. If you have completely thawed out chicken, then you only need to cook for about 30 minutes on medium high. High if you're using a crock pot, but if you forgot to take it out of the freezer like I did and you have frozen chicken like I do, then 45. So then after about 45 minutes, well 30 to 45 minutes, you want to chop up, well, break up your spaghetti noodles like this. I think that it would be perfect to use bow tie noodles but I didn't have bow tie noodles, I had spaghetti noodles, and we use what we have. So you want to stir that up real nicely and let it cook for about five minutes. You don't want to overcook your noodles, guys. So then after about five minutes, it's time to add the cream. I like to do this at the very, very end to avoid burning anything or like cooking the flavor out. Because I'm super weird, I can apparently only eat goat cheese, um, but you can use any type of cheese that you would like. I do want to say though that if you're using like an, an oat cheese or an oat milk or something, do it at the very, very end. So then here is my salad, well our salad, courtesy of my husband. We used romaine lettuce, spinach, tomato, and some avocado. For the dressing, I used a tablespoon of white wine, apple cider vinegar, and nutritional yeast, and then I sprinkled a little bit of black pepper and sea salt on top to taste. I also made some homemade bread. This is actually my own recipe and it's completely from scratch. If you are at all interested in seeing that recipe video, just let me know down in the comments. And voila, here is the finished product. It turned out so freaking good. I'm really proud of myself. The half of the jalapeno was the perfect amount of spice and flavor. Like the bread was perfect, the salad was delicious, everything was so good. I like to store my leftovers in mason jars because I use mason jars for everything and I just feel like it helps keep the freshness longer. I don't know. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you have any video suggestions for me, or recipes, or meals you want me to try, or anything like that, let me know down in the comments below. If you've made it this far, I hope that you have a fantastic rest of your day. Mwah! Bye.